Hello everyone, Ether Song here, and today's video is going to be looking at the Arc Thrower. It is an incredibly strong weapon that has infinite ammo and is capable of dealing with nearly any type of enemy, but it has a few quirks that I think cause people to overlook it. This video covers a few simple tricks to help you out when using this weapon. Starting off, did you know it is possible to quickly charge shots to massively increase your rate of fire? After charging your first shot, each shot afterward can be released at around, I don't know, half charge or 60% or so. This means you can nearly double your damage. Take a look at this comparison to fully charging shots and quick charging. It can take a little practice to get the timing down, but once you do, the difference is night and day. Next up, the arc thrower has a deceptively long range. If you see an enemy far off in the distance, try shooting it. You may be surprised by how far your lightning shot reaches. The arc thrower also ignores armor, so it is possible to take down larger foes like chargers, hulks, or even bile titans with enough shots. Chargers seem to take around 10 shots and bile titans around 20 or more. The arc thrower is able to focus body parts so keeping focus on one area will speed up the kill while hitting various areas of the body can require more shots for a takedown. However, one nice thing about the arc thrower is that its shots chain between enemies. So while damaging a larger threat, it is possible to thin out hordes of weaker enemies. Also, the arc thrower just gets stronger as more people on your team use it. If a charger normally takes 10 shots to kill, you can half that amount when two people are firing at it. It becomes even faster with the third or fourth player. See a bug breach? Get everyone to start zapping, and no bugs will come out of that alive. With a full party, I think even Bile Titans would fear to zap. Moving on, one thing to be aware of when using Arc Thrower is that it is possible to friendly fire. However, by understanding the mechanics of the gun, you can learn to prevent this from happening. The most important thing to keep in mind is how lightning bolts chain between targets. Envision a cone behind your target. This is the danger zone. Your lightning bolt can jump between targets in this area. As such, you should never shoot at an enemy if a teammate is behind this cone area of the enemy. If an ally is horizontal to your target, it should be fine. However, if an enemy cannot be properly targeted, your ally might end up being the next valid target to be fried. Look to position yourself in front of or to the side of your allies. If you find yourself with the gun charged and an ally in front of you, you can always turn around to harmlessly dispense the shot. The last topic is about arc thrower's auto-targeting. Currently, the auto-targeting feature of the arc thrower can fail at times, causing your attack to fizzle. While this seems like a bug and may be fixed as a quality of life feature in a future update, here is a workaround. The initial targeting of the arc thrower also appears to use a cone. When an obstacle is in between you and your target, your attacks may not properly lock on. When this happens, try aiming above your target. This can sometimes help the gun lock on properly to target the enemy. What do you think about the arc thrower? Do you have any other tips? Let me know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching. Later!